Hey guys, hadn't done a video in a while. Primer's best has been on me. Uh, update on this 04 GTO, Holden clone, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I've got a guy that's come to look at it. I really like this car. I hate to sell it, but I'm just getting to the point I'm, I'm just piled up with stuff right now. And got a lot of other things going on. I don't fool with this car. It just sits here. So, you know, if this guy can take it and enjoy it, fine. Um, you know, maybe he'll do something with it. I actually just put the stall converter in it uh, this week. I think I finished it up Wednesday. Man, it does great. I've got an appointment to have it retuned <coughs> uh, for the stall converter. So if this boy don't take it, I don't care. Uh, it's not a big deal. Um, I will eventually get it finished. But uh, this is my blower kit. That's my intercooler. Uh, I gotta move some stuff around. If he doesn't take it, I'm gonna get started on this. This is the LSA swap, um, fuel pump, intercooler pump, fuel rails. Um, that's the adapter for the LS1. This is something kind of like off of, oh, this is actually off the of Cadillac CTSB. Uh, that will really make this old car turn it on. <coughs> uh, but, like I said, we'll see. This guy seems like he's really wanting it. He'll probably take it. Uh, and that's okay. Like I said, uh, I like these cars and trucks, but, you know, if you just let them say it, you know, there's really nothing wrong with selling them and letting someone else enjoy them and get them out and, you know, do what they're supposed to do. So, um, again, I'll hate to see this one go, but it is what it is. I'll update you if he buys it. And, uh, like I said, if he don't, I'm going to start on the LSA kit, put the blower and stuff on it. I'm sure a lot of y'all are not interested in that, but, uh, some people will be. I've never done one of these LSA swaps, so we'll see how it goes. I, you know, of course, I've got a pretty good idea of what I need to do. Uh, still a few little items, a couple little sensors, stuff like that I need to order, but, uh, Pretty cool little car. It's got a BTR Stage 2 turbo cam in it, uh, which will work good with that supercharger. But like I said, we'll see. Uh, something else I'm going to show you real quick. Something else Primary's Best has been on me to show him. This guy's probably going to call halfway through this video, so uh, if I have to stop it and restart it, I apologize. But uh, that's my 67 Chevelle. Um, that was my mamaw's car for many years and it's not really worth fixing, but seeing as how it was hers, I'm going to do something with it eventually. Pretty cool little car. It runs great. I could throw the battery cable on it and start it up now and it'll sit there and run good. This is a 66 Bel Air that I bought at an auction. I screwed up. I threw a bit out, uh, just to kind of get things going and it was hot and I think the sun had got to me. I don't know what I was thinking, but I ended up buying it. No one else bid on it. And uh, again, whatever. Neat old car um, to an extent. Like I said, it's not really worth fooling with. But we'll see. Maybe some of y'all need some parts off of it. Um, some of y'all know me. I work for the sheriff's office part-time. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll throw a motor and stuff in it and uh, paint it black and white and throw an old bubble light on top of it. I doubt it. I don't think I'm going to fool with it. A lot of good parts on it though. It's pretty much complete other than the uh, motor and transmission. It was a V8 car. As you can see the flags there. I don't know if it's 283 or 327. I'm not sure. Uh, but anyways, there it is. Um, pretty solid car really. It's not bad. Someone might want to fix it. I doubt it. But it is what it is. The grass is kind of getting high. I've been working a lot. I haven't had a day off this week. So I will probably mow tomorrow. But this is it. That was my mistake for the day. I was going to start making a video. Uh, either mistake of the day or bad decision of the day. But uh, here it is. Y'all give me your opinions on that. Give me your opinions on this. I mean, I'm not going to part this one out, obviously. But <coughs> it's just got some old roller wheels on it. Now, I used to drive this car back when I first got it, it needs floor work, trunk work, uh, 
drip rail around the trunk. Needs a lot of work. Uh, it was a good solid car and they done a heater core on it and he got aggravated. It's a factory air car and uh, factory 283 power glide air conditioning car and uh, he got aggravated and parked it in the field. They just rebuilt this motor. It's a 305. They took the 283 out. I still have the 283 but it's just a boat anchor. I don't ever plan on putting it back in it. It was smoking and uh, they bought a Laguna and took the 305 out and rebuilt it and put it in this car. And uh, man, this thing just runs phenomenal. It sat for about three years at my dad's and I put the battery cable on it, started right up and drove it on the trailer. But uh, anyways, give me y'all's opinions on those. Um, I've got a hundred things going on. I bought uh, two and a half acres here behind me. So I've been working on clearing it off. I just got a lot going on. And again, that's part of the reason why I'm selling the GTO. I just, I don't fool with it. But uh, again, I'm not starving to death. My bills are paid. So if he takes it, good. If he don't, that's fine too. I don't care. Uh, it won't hurt my feelings a bit. Y'all have a good one. Primary's best. I hope this one uploads, buddy. We'll catch you later.